Hi, here we are again in this tutorial, which is going to be a very basic tutorial where we're going to review the notes of a keyboard. And one thing you have to understand is that these notes are always the same notes in any kind of instruments. But here we're going to review in any instrument that can be played with a keyboard. So it can be an organ, a key, an electronic keyboard, a piano, an acoustic piano, an electric piano, even a harpsichord. So this is divided in white keys and black keys. The black keys are always grouped in two and three, two and three, two and three. And this pattern is repeated all over the keys, two, three. And this is very useful because it can help us to identify the notes. If you want to identify the main note in a keyboard, it's called the central or the middle C. The middle C can be identified when you look for a group of two black keys and just before one step, half step back from the first note of the group of two, that is going to be always the C note. It doesn't matter if you are playing in any octave, always that you see a group of two before the first note is going to be always a C. Two, and C, two and C. Now, the nomenclature here is going to be with letters. It has an alphabetical order, but it doesn't start here in the C. It, it starts in the A, of course, if you're talking about alphabetical order, and it, the reason that it starts in, the, in another key that is not the C key is because that the note that is always used for making the correct pitch in any instrument, based on the orchestral instruments. So here we're going to start in the C, so we can understand why in the piano is that way. Because it's the central or the middle note. So you start here, and first we're going to review the name of the white keys and then of the black keys. When we start with the C, the next white key is going to be a D. Then an E. Then an F. Then a G. And here, the next note is the first one in the orchestra pitch, which is going to be the A. The next is going to be B. And here, after the B, we we'll start again in the C. So, we are playing both Cs. This is called an octave. And you can notice that when we play the C, it's again beside the first note of a group of two blacks. You can play one octave, two octaves, three, or even down. And the notes are going to continue the same names all over the keyboard. Even that you start in another octave. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So these are the notes for the white notes, the white keys. Now we're going to review the black keys. The black keys are even called flat or sharp. It depends for, from where you are starting to playing. Let's see here if you are playing in the C and we play the next half a step or half tone, half tone it's going to be this black key. So if you are playing from the C, this is going to be a C sharp. If we are playing from a D and we get back, it's not going to be played as a C sharp is going to be played as a D flat. It's the same note, but it's going to change the name depending on the structure of the of the key. So this is a half a step or half tone. If we start from here, this is a, the half step is the next white key. But if we play from C to D, we're passing through two half steps. That's a whole step. So when we are when we say that we play one note and a whole step, we mean that we are playing through two half steps. If we're in G and I want to play a whole step from G, it's going to be half a step and half a step, this, the A. And if we're playing this note and I want to play a whole note, we have to play one half a step and another half a step. This is a whole note. So whole note, half note, or half a step and whole step. So let's get back again to the C, C sharp, D, and the next half step is a D sharp. 
Then the next, the next half step is an E. This is, can be called also an E flat because it's one semitone back from the E. And here is an exception for this rule because the E doesn't have any, why, any black note between the next note. The next half step from the E is an F. So it's not correct to name it as a E sharp or, or even a, an F flat, the E. It's just E, F. And then we play again with the black notes. F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. And here in the B is going to be the same example that we already saw in the E. It doesn't have any half a step with a black key. The next half a step or half note is the C, the first note where we start. So it's going to be C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. We start again with the same names. And if we are uh, playing backwards, if you start him from the here from the C, it's going to be C, B, and this is going to be a B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, and here we in the F we doesn't have any flat notes, so it's going to be the E, E flat, D, D flat, and again the C, and this can be played all over the keyboard, even you're playing down and upwards. So these are the notes, the name of the notes of the white and the black notes, and this is very important so you can understand from here how are the scales and the chords develop and even the progressions. So I hope you like this explanation and see you at the next tutorial.